Deuce, the stop sign at third base. Denny, the Tides hitting coach, normally coaches first. The pitch swung on line the other way into left field for a run producing base dot by board ball. The other runners moving up 90 feet as De Jesus crosses. 1 0 Tides on Julio Borbon's 30th RBI of the year. Couldn't find a deal with an affiliated club to begin the year. As the payoff is hit in the air towards left center field. Boggs on the run, reaching out, pulls it in. Tagging at third and heading home is Phelps. Freitas and Borbon head back to their bags. Barry almost put that one down in the alleyway. And although Boggs hauled it in, it's a sacrifice fly for a 2-0 Tides lead. The look at first and the pitch. There's a fly ball into right field. Figueroa there to make the catch. Here comes the throw to the plate. Throw coming all the way. And just sliding under the tag is Goslin. Pretty good throw by Figueroa all the way in the air. Freitas made the grab on it and tried to make a sweep tag at him. And in under the tag. A ball and a strike. Ground ball, third base by Phelps down into the corner. In comes Boggs. And right behind him, the next runner, and he's coming, and here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. He's safe. And Gwinnett takes the lead. A double down the left field line by Yepes in to score Brandon Boggs and Salcedo right behind him. The relay throw from Barry to Phelps to Freitas just not quite in time and sliding under the tag Salcedo. Field hit. Any idea what the discussion at home plate was about? After the triple? There's a base hit by the second baseman into center field. In to score is Phelps, and the game is tied at 3-3. Three three. So Bourbon singles into center field. In to score Cord Phelps. And Julio Bourbon is 3-3. Three for three. Figueroa at second, Phelps at first. The two and two pitch to Freitas. Grounded third base into left field for it. Yeah. On his way home, but here comes the throw. The throw is there and not in time. And Freitas drives in a run with a single to left field. Figueroa under a full head of steam. Denny Walling coaching at third, sent him, slid in under the throw, and the Tides take the lead. Cord Phelps stopped at second. Pauses just above the belt. Kicks and delivers home. Swing and a fly. Flared down the left side. Foul ground. Barry on the run. Diving down. He has got it. What a catch. Outstanding. Quentin Barry on a full out hit. First dive into the warning track gravel to make the grab and hang on to it. You know, you would think that their base runner would have been tagged up on that play, wouldn't you? Off the line in right field. So even though you've got a left-handed batter out there, Todoslovich likes to spray the ball around. You've got a guy with a good, lively fastball, 92 to 94 miles an hour in Kaleo. And here's the 2-0. Oh, oh, swing and a soft line drive to short cut. A crouching Jamile Weeks hauls it in. About shin high for the final out of the inning and the final out of the game as the Tides have taken game one of the Twin Bill for a second consecutive night. For the Braves here in the seventh inning, no runs, no hits, an error. They strand one. And the Tides win the opener by a 5-3 count. Back with more in a moment on ESPN Radio.